with Dr. Gary Bender. Uh, for our lab today at uh, Cal Poly Pomona and Miracosta College, we're going to take a video tour of a grove out here in the Valley Center um, area of, of San Diego County. Valley Center is a, a community just north of Escondido in San Diego County. It's a large grove. There's about 800 acres out here. And as you look in the hills behind me here, you don't see very many avocados now and because most of the avocado trees situation. Uh, in 1985 when I started as a farm advisor we had around 32,000 acres of avocados in the county. Uh, right now we're down to about 15,000 acres and the reason is water. Our water costs are just gotten too expensive. Uh, most of our groves are on district water which comes from Northern California and the Colorado River and we're up around $2,000 an acre foot on district water and it takes around maybe three and a half to four acre feet of, it, of water to farm one acre of avocado. So that's almost $8,000 and you have to have really good yields and really good prices. And uh, we've had some problems with that. One of our solutions is to do a high density trial, which we, we've done a video of that here on the ranch and that's in another video you'll see later on this semester. Um, so, uh, right behind me, you can see a big, large, a large reservoir uh, that the Staley's built in the Keys Creek watershed. And it's approved by the State Department of Dams. So it's a very, very nice, good dam. And they're trying to fill it with as much rainwater and well water as they possibly can. A lot of people have wells out here in San Diego County, but a lot of our water comes up fairly salty and we just don't have very much water. We don't really have good water tables here in the county. Okay, so we will continue on in just a bit in, in looking at some avocados and we're gonna teach you a few things about avocado production in this grove. Okay, we are out here in one of the avocado groves at the Staley Ranch. Uh, this happens to be one of our old salt tolerant rootstock trials. The University of California Cooperative Extension has done quite a bit of research out here over the years so with uh, pruning trials, bloom spray trials, root rot resistant rootstock trials, and, and then the salt tolerant one. And out here we, we did a big trial with 20 replications of each rootstock with has tops. And we have had uh, uh, really a good success with some of the Israeli rootstocks. So, uh, the BC 801, BC 207 are two of the best. Basically, the California rootstocks all died. The, the EC of the water was over three, so it was way too salty for uh, a normal rootstock. So we're gonna follow, uh, the cam camera girl here is gonna follow me into the grove and we're gonna show you some things about the roots, okay? Let's go. So you can see how shady it is in here. Uh, once the avocados grow together and shade over, uh, we don't have any weed growth. There's not enough light for weeds. And they also put down a very heavy leaf mulch on the ground. <clears throat> this is how they feed in uh, where they come from, southern Mexico and Guatemala. They put down a heavy leaf mulch and then they absorb a lot of their own nutrients back right back up into the tree. They do that here in California too. Uh, one of the problems, of course, is once they get up a little bit, they start to canopy over. You don't see any, uh, or oh, not much growth down to the ground here. Your best production is when your trees can be, it looks like a kind of a fat Christmas tree shape and with a little space in between the trees. But in this case, <clears throat> what they've done is, uh, this is now on normal district water. Uh, they come in here and they prune about 18, 16 to 18 inch feet high and then they uh, do that about every other year. So they're keeping them pruned down uh, so it makes it a little bit easier. But I, the, the main thing I wanted to show you right now is where the roots are located. They have very shallow feeder roots. And I scraped some leaves aside and I dug up a shovel full of roots here. 
These are packed with small feeder roots. Very shallow roots. And uh, now feeder roots are about just the you know, size of a pencil lead and smaller, not, not bigger roots. So they're, they're fairly small here. Um, this is in the winter. We don't see a lot of white root growth here. They're kind of got this winter darkening here. But you scrape in there and there's white inside. So these are healthy roots. Okay, so the point of that is once you have avocado trees, you don't want to do any tractoring or rototilling around trees because it'll cut up all the roots and that'll be it. Okay, so I think we will stop here and we we'll continue on just a, just a bit. Okay, I'm here with the grower. This is Nick Staley Jr. Uh, this is at his farm right next to the main ranch. And uh, Nick has a little bit of a problem here. His trees are getting too tall. So what are you doing about it, Nick? Uh, well, they are getting awful tall as you can see up there, but we're stumping them here. Bring them down, you know, four or five feet and uh, then them rejuvenate, come back again. Yeah, what, why do you paint them? Uh, you know, we went through a hot weather there where uh, that dog on uh, the heat would just fry the bark off of there and stuff. So we got to paint it up pretty good to protect them a little bit from the weather. Sure, it's like putting sunscreen on, on your skin. production and you, you almost, most of the time you have your feet on the ground with the chainsaw okay I think that'll be the end of our tour today and uh, thank you very much doc well done <laughs> <laughs>